Yo let's begin with the video. Day of the exams. Klasa has finished the written exam and now are standing outside the exam field wearing their costumes with some are excited, worried, nervous, or no emotion at all. Now, we will begin the practical exam. Of course, it is possible to fail this exam. If you want to go to the training camp, then don't make any stupid mistakes Aizawa said with almost every hero course teachers present on site. There are a lot of teachers. Gyro notice. I expect that you all have gathered information ahead of time and have some idea of what you will be doing Aizawa claim. We're fighting robots warriors like at the entrance exam, right? Kaminari yell excited. Fireworks. Curry. Test of courage. Mina yell beside him. Too bad. For various reasons, the exam will be different starting this time. Nezu yell as he pop out from Aizawa's scarf. Principal Nezu. The students yell surprise. Different. Yeyarazu ask confuse. From now on, we want to focus on person-to-person -person combat and hero work, and stress teaching that is closer to actual fighting Nezu explain. What do you mean? Sato asked confused. From what I see, we about to experience some hardship Izuku said confusing his classmate. Hardship. Iraraka asked confused. Yeah, if you wonder why there are a lot of teachers here, they are definitely not here for observation, they could do it on the main campus. So I could only think one thing why they are here Izuku explained. To fight us Todoroki realize. Precisely Izuku reply calmly. Gasp. The students gasp in surprise. Against. The teachers. Iraraka asked worried. That is correct. In addition, the pairs and who each pair will be up against have already been decided. These were determined at my discretion based on various factors, including fighting style, grades, and interpersonal relationships Aizawa explained. So he would go that far, eh? Izuku though. So here they are. First, Todoroki and Yeyarazu are one team, and they're fighting me Aizawa said smirking. And Midoriya and Bakugo are a team Aizawa said making Bakugo surprised but Izuku cursed silently. And their opponent, he added when suddenly All Might land in front of them. I will do it. All Might declare. All Might. Bakugo yells surprise. Fuck Izuku curse at his incredible luck, or bad luck in this case. Work together to beat me, you too. All Might told them smiling. And now, we'll announce the teams and teachers they'll be up against at once. Nezu announce. Cementos vs. Red Riot. Sugarman. Ectoplasm vs. Floppy. Sukoyomi. Power Loader vs. Tenya. Tailman. Eraserhead vs. Creati. Shoto. 13 vs. Can't Stop Twinkling. Iravity. Nezu vs. Pinky, Chargebolt, Present Mike vs. Anima, Earphone Jack, Snipe vs. Invisible Girl, Tentacle, Midnight vs. Cellophane, Grape Juice, All Might vs. Delta, Bakugu. The time limit for exam is 30 minutes. Your objective is either to put these handcuffs on the teacher, or to have one of you escape from the stage. Nezu explain, capture the teacher or escape. It's kind like the combat training Kaminari pointed out. Is it really okay to run away? Mina ask. Yup, Nezu reply with a thumbs up but it'll be different from the combat training. You'll be up against someone way hey, better than you, Present Mike said confidently. This time, your exam will be very similar to a real battle. Please think of us as villains 13 explain. Assuming you come across the enemy, if you think you can win a fight against them, then that's fine. However, Snipe explain. In cases where there's too big a difference in your abilities, it would be smarter to run away and get help. Todoroki, Ida, Midoriya. I'm sure you three understand this well Aizawa explained making the boys remember Hasu a few weeks ago. A head on assault or a tactical retreat Izuku said. That's right. Your decision making skills are being tested. But with these rules, you're probably thinking the only choice is to run, right? All might ask. It crossed my mind Kaminari commented. That's why we had the support course make these for us. All might said as he grab a bracelet like item. Ultra compressed weights. Dori Manu. I mean All Might announce. We'll put on these about half of our body weight. It's to give you a handicap. It's old-fashioned, but it makes it hard to move and eats up stamina. All Might explain as he wear them. To allow us to consider fighting you? Ha, huh, you're underestimating us Bakugu said seriously. Kahaha, I wonder All Might reply seriously. Mr. Aizawa, sir. Permission to ask question Izuku requested. Go ahead Aizawa reply. With due all respect, sir. I though it would be better if I fight against Snipe. Since both of our quirks and weapon of choice are pretty similar Izuku said. At first we did consider that. But with other factors considered we decided that you and Bakugu will fight All Might instead of me Snipe explain. And fighting someone with similar quirks will make you able to pass the exam quite easily. The point of this exam is to make you able to adapt to every scenario and able to deal out people with different quirk Aizawa added. Understand, Sir Izuku comply. Alright, each team will take the practical exam at the same time on the prepared stage. Think out any strategy to deal with us fast. That is all, good luck Aizawa said. Yes, sir. The students comply. Oh rah, Izuku comply. 
Every team then go to their designated exam fields alongside their opponents. Bakugu and Izuku and All Might headed towards the city type exam field. Team Midoriya and Bakugu, practical exam. Ready, go. The speaker announced. Bakugu walk forward abandoning Izuku who just look at him disappointed. Of all the people, Izuku though annoyed before he walk forward joining Bakugu. We can't face him head on Izuku told Bakugu. And what run away? Why should we run away? I'd definitely be better if we beat him up. Bakugu yell angrily then began to walk faster. How? Izuku asked sarcastically. We'll toy with him until it's almost over, and then once he's tired out, I'll beat him up. Bakugu explain angrily. If he is able to be defeated by us with our current strength, then All Might would become the symbol of peace for five minutes before something like Namu killed him Izuku said then suddenly Bakugu turn around and blast Izuku right in the head. The attack create a dust cloud around Izuku. Don't say another word Bakugu threaten. When the smoke clear out Izuku is blocking the attack with his left hand while glaring at Bakugu. Meanwhile on the other side of the city All Might is preparing to attack the two examine. Now, I am going. All Might yell as he flex his left hand smash. He yell as he Texas smash the air in front of him. The two boys keep glaring at each other when suddenly the Texas smashes air pressure hit them, making the two to fly back. The air pressure destroy the entire street with the buildings near it. Who gives a damn about damaging the city? Playing, All Might ask then he move his right arm, deflecting a bullet heading towards him. Who? So you recover already? All Might ask as Izuku is aiming at All Might from a distance. All Might smirk good. I am a villain, heroes. Come at me with everything you've got. He yells seriously. Izuku then fire three bullets at All Might. But All Might jump forward towards Bakugu. Stun grenade. Bakugu yell as he attack All Might. All Might shielded his eyes because of the brightness. Come at me you said, All Might. Even if you didn't say anything, I was gonna do that. Bakugu yelled to only be grabbed in the face by All Might. Bakugu then began to launch small but continuous explosion towards All Might. But he is not hurt at all. All Might then slam Bakugu to the ground hard before release his head and stand up. All Might move his left hand deflecting a bullet fired from Izuku you're not off the hook either, young Midoriya he said as he deflect bullets from Izuku. Izuku emptied his R magazine and about to switch to his pistol when suddenly All Might appear behind him shit. Izuku curses All Might grab his back then throw him towards an office building. Izuku break the glass as he fly inside the office building. All Might. Bakugu yell as he blasted his way towards All Might, but All Might move away. Bakugu then began pursuing All Might while blasting large explosion towards him, but because All Might moved so fast the explosion miss him and hit the building behind him. Come on hero, you can do better than that. All Might taunted making Bakugu even angrier and release more large explosion to his surrounding, damaging more buildings in the process. All Might then stop in front of an office building then Bakugu stop in front of him. Come on, give me your best shot All Might challenged. Bakugu grab his gauntlet firing pin then eat this. He yell then pull the trigger creating a super massive explosion. All Might evaded but the explosion hit the building making it to tremble hard before collapsing. Bakugu blasted away but All Might dash in front of Bakugu then punch him hard in the stomach making him fly back while vomiting. Bakugu land a few meters away whimpering on the ground when All Might approach him. So, you want to surrender, now? All Might ask as Bakugu struggle to get up. Shut up. I will kill you, All Might. That what it means to be a hero. Bakugu said weakly. Then what is all this? All Might ask as he spread his arms showing the destroyed street you said you will kill me. But what happened to the people inside those buildings? You might kill me, but you also kill them all All Might said with a villainous aura making Bakugu flinch. You never care about anyone but yourself. You are destroying these building and killing the people inside it. What kind of hero does that? You might win over me, but you lose to them. You win the fight, but lose the war. You lose All Might taunted evilly while Bakugu tremble in fear because he never see this side of All Might before and because he is right. He never care anyone else. He only see them as inferior, a stepping stone, weak. Bakugu look around weakly then began to realize he didn't save the city. He unintentionally help All Might destroying it. His actions are anything but heroic. Meanwhile, Izuku push a large concrete wall above him away. He then slowly climb up the rubble that once an office building, the same office building that Bakugu demolished by accident. Izuku finally got out from the rubble and see Bakugu with all might. He then grab a pole that have a large concrete in the other end and decide to use it as a mace. All Might then raise his fist for a punch when Bakugu see Izuku who is holding a pole behind them. Bakugu then he smirk. All Might punch but Bakugu evaded the punch before closing in on him. But instead of attacking Bakugu fly past All Might towards Izuku. All Might then chase down Bakugu. Bakugu continue to fly towards Izuku while also create flash grenade along the way to blind it All Might. Izuku see this then sigh before he position himself for the attack. Bakugu get very close to Izuku before he launch an explosion that make him fly to the side avoiding Izuku. 
All might because of the flash grenade continue to fly forward and by the time he able to see, the only thing he see is a very angry Izuku Y young Midoriya. All might though surprise as Izuku prepared to smash All might. He try to move away, but it's too late. G R R R R R A A A H H H. Izuku scream as he smash All Might with his improvised mace hard to the ground. Something like this. The attack was so powerful it send All Might entire body deep to the ground beneath Izuku. The attack also create a massive dust cloud. Bakugu land a few meters behind Izuku then shielded his face from the massive dust cloud. The dust cloud clear out revealing a knocked out All Might on the ground while the two students still standing weakly and tiredly nearby. Izuku grab the capture handcuff then toss it towards Bakugu. Bakugo grab the handcuff then look at Izuku confused. Do the honors Izuku simply said as he sit down and grab a water bottle. Take off his helmet then pour water on his head while panting. The fuck happened to you? Bakugo asked as he moved to capture All Might. Not every day you survived a collapsing building from the inside Izuku reply as then he drinks some water. Bakugo tense for a moment, remembering that he accidentally demolished an office building. He sweat a little bit, but decide to play dumb about it suck be you he said. Ha Izuku replied dryly. As Bakugo about to handcuff All Might, All Might suddenly spring out from the ground surprising the two boys. It's not over yet heroes. All Might yell then he grab the handcuff and throw it above and over the buildings. Bakugo launch an explosion and Izuku dash towards All Might. All Might is blinded by the fire when Izuku punch him in the face making him stumble back. We need to run. Izuku yell at Bakugo. We are not running away. Bakugo denied angrily. The only device that able to make us win by capturing him is gone. We got no choice. We need to go. Izuku argue. Bakugu gritted his teeth in anger A-R-G-H-H-H. -H -H. You win. He yell angrily then began to blast it to the exit gate. Izuku grab his nine banger, pull the pin then throw it towards All Might before running to the gates. I'm not gone All Might yell is cut when he see the nine banger right in front of his face. Bang, 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 bang. The nine banger exploded in All Might's face effectively blinded and deafen him. Son of a bitch. He recovered faster than I though. The handcuff is missing as well. We have 5 minutes till the test is over and around 1 minutes 2 minutes till All Might's time is up Izuku though as he run towards the exit gate. We almost there. Izuku yell as they nearing the exit gate when suddenly an air pressure blasted from behind making the boys fly and slam the building on the side of the street. We're not over yet, hero. All Might yell as he walk wobbly still affected by the 9 banger. Izuku slowly and weakly get up mother. Fucker. Ugh. He curses Bakugu also struggling to get up beside him. Come on, Izuku said as he and Bakugo get to the middle of the street. I know you two are there All Might said as he pointed them but he's still hazy. Bakugo about to launch an attack with his gauntlet but Izuku stop him. Save it. I have something for him Izuku said as he grab a block of white clay from what Bakugo can see, then plant it on the ground. Let's get out of here Izuku said when All Might interrupted. I'm not gonna let you. All Might denied as he walked towards them. Izuku smirk watch your step he said then he and Bakugo walk away. All Might continue to walk towards them when he steps something soft. All Might look at his feet and see a block of clay in his eye. He is confused why a clay is here. All Might look back to Izuku and see him pull out a detonator. Fire in the hole Izuku said then he pull the trigger. The clay or in this case a full block of C4 exploded and send All Might back. Even though it wasn't powerful enough to hurt him. He wasn't able to continue because he is running out of time in his muscle form and the nine banger hurt him more than he though. Congratulation you too. You won All Might congratulate as he wiped the blood on his mouth. Meanwhile the shockwave passed through Izuku and Bakugo. But they just keep walking away. Izuku glanced Bakugo you did good he told Bakugo. Tenseh. I know. Shut up. Bakugo yell angrily you're not bad either he added silently though Izuku heard it. The two of them then reached the exit. Team Bakugo and Midoriya has exit the exam field. They have passed the exam the speaker announced. A day after the exams. Inside the class A's classroom Mina, Sato, Kirishima, and Kaminari look very gloom because they are the one who failed the exams the day before. Everyone, I'm looking forward to hearing your stories about training camp. Mina said sobbing. Can't promise you anything, but knowing Aizawa, I'm pretty sure they're a last minute twist or something Izuku assure them. Stop, Midoriya. If you say it out loud, it'll probably jinx it Siro said as he put his hand on Izuku's shoulder. If we failed the exams, then we'd have to skip training camp and be in summer school hell. And since we didn't pass the practical exam, if you guys still don't get it, then you're dumber than monkeys. Kaminari yell as he tried to poke Izuku's eye, but Izuku evaded. Calm the fuck down Izuku said annoyed as Kaminari still trying to poke his eye. Sigh, I don't know, either. My team passed thanks to Minta, but I was just sleeping the whole time. Anyway, since we don't know how they're scoring it, Siro claim while Kaminari still trying to poke Izuku. Would you stop? Kaminari yell while still trying to poke Izuku's eye. I'm the one who supposed say that. 
Izuku yell back annoyed but Kaminari is still doing it stop trying to poke my eyes. Makeshift Pikachu. Izuku yell annoyed when Aizawa suddenly opened the door. Once the bell rings. Get in your seats Aizawa said then in an instant everyone is on their seats and didn't say anything. Morning. Unfortunately, there are those who did not pass the final exams. Accordingly, for the training camp in the woods. Aizawa said with the four failed students listen in silent gloom. Everyone's going. Aizawa claimed smiling. A last minute twist. The failed four yell in excitement. We can go, too. Kirishima asked excited. Really? Mina asked crying. Yeah, some failed. But no one failed the written exam. In the practical, Kirishima, Kamienri, Ashido, Sato, and Siro failed Aizawa said. I knew it. Just because my team passed didn't mean I scored high enough not to fail. Siro whine. For this time's exam. We on the villain side made sure to leave a way for the students to win while watching to see how you all would take on the task at hand. If we hadn't, most of you would have gotten stuck before you started Aizawa claim. So when you said you were really out to crush us, Ajiro asked. That was to make you feel cornered. In the first place, the training camp in the woods is one to increase strength. So those who failed need it the most. They have to get stronger. It was a rational falsehood Aizawa explained with a smirking face. A rational falsehood. The failed four yell annoyed. I was tricked again. As expected of UA. However, since you lied to us twice, our faith in you will waver. Class rep, help me on this one. Ida complained. In my defense, I never have faith on him ever since the beginning. No offense Izuku said calmly. Note taken. Though I'll consider that Aizawa reply. Doubt Izuku said silently. But I wasn't lying about everything. Failure is failure. We have prepared a separate time for extra lesson for you all Aizawa said making the failed five change form happy to grim instantly frankly. It'll be tougher than the extra lesson you'd get if you stayed at school Aizawa added. Time skip to the end of school. A week of training camp? Huh? Ida asked. We need a sufficient supplies then Izuku said. I don't have a bathing suit or anything. I'll have to buy a bunch of stuff Kaminari claim. Oh, then since we're off tomorrow and we just finished our exams, why doesn't class all go shopping together? Toru suggested. Oh, good idea. Wouldn't that be the first time we all hung out together? Kaminari agree with your Raka nodding in agreement. Hey, Bakugu, you're coming, too. Kirishima told him. Like I'd do something so irritating Bakugu denied. I have everything with me. My military supplies and MREs. But I guess I still need a thing or two Izuku said then he look at Todoroki how about you, Scarface? He asked the scarred boy. Sorry, I go visit my mom on our days off Todoroki apologize. You two are getting close. Good, I won't force you. Go visit her Izuku said understanding. You guys are such party poopers. Get a clue, you clueless guys. Minda complain. Shut it Izuku told Minda annoyed. The next day. And so, here we are. With the most stores in the prefecture, the newest and coolest, most advanced, Kiyashi Ward Shopping Mall. Mina cheer in excitement to the class. Damn, I guess this is the first time I went to a mall this size Izuku said with awe to the size of the mall. This is the first time you went here. Yuraka asked. Yeah, this is huge Izuku reply. That's what she said Minda commented. Shut it, Minda Izuku said annoyed when suddenly a couple of guys spotted them. Oh, aren't those UA students? A guy asked. First years. Another guy asked. I saw them on TV. Another guy's yell. Sports festival, yay. They all yell excited. Oh, there are still people who remember that. Yuraka said nervously. The guys then see Izuku and it await. Those two. They the one who take down the hero killer. The guy realize. Well, you're right. They are the one. Another guy agree. You two are cool. They yell excited. Hero killer. Ida said downhearted. Izuku smack Ida's shoulder hey. Look at the bright side. They're not criticizing your actions Izuku is sure. Yeah, Ida agree. Anyway, I need to buy a big carry-on bag Gyro said. Oh my, then why don't we go around together? Yay Arazu suggested. Where can I get lock picking tools and small drills? Minda asked. If I found those items when we departed, I'll blow your head off Izuku threatened with killer aura. Yes, sir. Minda complied terrified. I don't have any outdoor shoes, so I want to go buy some Kaminari claim. Oh, me too, me too. Toru said excited. The guide said to bring shoes that already broken in it said oh, but I see, perhaps we should choose based on utility. He realized, everyone has different things they want to do, so why Don, T we decide on a time to meet back up. Hiroshima suggested, I agree. Mina yell, then let's meet back here at 3 o'clock. Hiroshima yell then they all started to disperse to different location leaving only Izuku and Yuraka. Well everyone is excited Izuku said, yeah Yuraka agree. So how about you, Yuraka? Izuku asked. Oh, I need some bug spray Yuraka reply. Okay, how about I accompanied you? We could hang out after that Izuku suggested. That is a good idea. But, didn't you need anything? Yuraka agree then ask. 
I already have everything I need. I just need some small stuff Izuku answer. Oh, okay then your rocker replies smiling. All right then, do you want to eat anything? My treat Izuku offered. Hmm, maybe I want your Uraka about to reply when she remembers something. Did you like him? Ayama asked back in the exam. Your Uraka then began to blush dot 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 u dot 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 one. She said blushing. Want what? Izuku asked confused. Want? Well, well, uh. Your Uraka yell embarrassed then run away from Izuku. What do you mean well? Uh, uh. Izuku asked confused, but your Uraka keep running away. Dang it Ayama. He's wrong, anyway. I think your Uraka though embarrassed as she run away. Izuku just stand where he is standing dumbfounded sigh. Let's go to the mall together Izuku impersonate Toru together my ass he said annoyed. I guess I'll get something to eat Izuku said when he noticed a familiar orange dot on his radar this dot. Izuku though when someone call him. Oh, it's someone from UA. Pool, an unknown person call him. Izuku glanced to that person you gotta be shitting me Izuku though annoyed as he realized the person. Let me have your autograph. He said as he put his arm on Izuku's neck you were the one who win the sport festival, right? He asked. Yeah, Izuku answer unfazed. And you also the one who defeated the hero killer, too, right? He added. Of course you know that since you were there, too, right? Shigaraki Tamura Izuku asked as he look at Shigaraki who grinned. Well then, why don't we have tea or something, Izuku Midoriya? Shigaraki suggested as he grab Izuku's neck. Act natural, like I'm an old friend. Don't make a fuss, okay? I want to talk to you Shigaraki requested but Izuku stay silent. Just try and do something funny. It's simple. The instant all five of my fingers touch your neck, you'll start crumbling from the skin of your throat. You'll turn to dust in less than a minute Shigaraki warned. So, you're gonna do it here, in front of all those people. It'll be easier to you to be arrested Izuku asked unfazed by the threat. I'm sure, even though anyone could wield their quirk at any time, how can they smile like that? When it comes down to it, laws and rules assume that individuals have morals. They're convinced that there's no way anyone would do it. Before I'm caught I could crumble 20, no, 30 people. Shigaraki claimed while Izuku only glare. Sai, you want to talk? Let's talk Izuku said. Haha, <laughs> this is nice. Since we've got this chance, why don't we sit down and have a chat? Shigaraki offer then they move to a bench and sit down. Anyway, I hate everything. Shigaraki claim. Yeah, notice Izuku though annoyed. But what pisses me off the most right now is the hero killer Shigaraki continue. So, Izuku ask. That's the problem. Almost everyone is looking at the hero killer. The attack on Yue. And the Nomas I release on Hasu City everything was upstaged by him. No one's looking at me. Why is that? No matter how much he boasts, in the end, he just destroyed what he didn't like, right? Shigaraki asked. For a reason Izuku said confusing Shigaraki. What do you mean? Shigaraki asked. Stain do it for a reason. That's why he is remembered Izuku reply. I also doing it for a reason. So what is the difference? Shigaraki asked again. Stain's reason is to make the hero society of today to be stronger or to get it back to the good old days where all heroes could act and behave like all mine. He doesn't destroy everything hero-related. If something or someone meets his standards then he let it go Izuku explained then he glares Shigaraki. But you, you just destroy anything you don't like either it's your goal or not, you just destroy them all. Stain's reason makes sense and in some way or another is more realistic. But yours, your goal lack common sense, no concrete foundation, forgettable. You want to get rid of all might, if you succeeded then what? Others will take his place. Though not as the symbol of peace doesn't mean society will crumble. You lack conviction Izuku explained coldly. Shigaraki glare at Izuku. But Izuku is unfazed it's like a weight off my chest. I feel like I've connected the dots. Why the hero killer pisses me off, and why you irritate me. I feel like I understand now as Higaraki said happily. Shigaraki then smile everything's because of the society he claimed making Izuku surprised for a moment. I see. The reason no one noticed me is because the society is wrong. They are twisted. What was I worrying so much about? These guys are able to smile thoughtlessly because they are twisted to the core. It's because the society is twisted. Everyone are brainwashed by the twisted reality. Shigaraki stated while tighten his grip on Izuku's neck. Damn, Izuku though painfully as he trying to reach his pistol on his back waist. Oh, I'm so glad we could talk. It's great. Thanks, Midoriya. I don't have to do anything different Shigaraki said while keep tightening his grip. Izuku try to struggle whoops, don't struggle. Do you want to die? You think it's okay for the masses to die? Shigaraki asked making Izuku stop struggling but his hand has reached his pistol. It's so ironic, hero killer. Your ideals and convictions. You want to create a stronger society. Then you will be my stepping stone for the society that I will build Shigaraki though wickedly. Izuku is trying to ignore the pain and about to holster out his pistol when suddenly Midori. Someone call his name. Izuku look in front of him and he see Uraraka. He Uraraka. No, stay away. Izuku though worried. A friend? No, Uraraka said nervously. Shigaraki look at Uraraka with a wicked smile. Get your hands off him. 
Uraraka asked nervously. Hey, it's alright. I'm just talking to a friend. Go ahead. I'll catch you later Izuku said trying to make Uraraka away from Shigaraki. Oh don't worry. We're done here Shigaraki is sure then whispered to Izuku a little gift from me he said then he wrapped all five fingers to Izuku's neck. In an instant Izuku's neck starting to crumble and became dust. Izuku ready to holster out his pistol. But because the intense pain he let go the pistol. Shigaraki released Izuku and started walking away. Izuku fell to his knees while holding his crumbling throat fuck. He mentally yell. Midoriya. Uraraka scream worried as she approached him. Izuku is coughing violently while blood and dust fell down from his neck. Oh my god, Midoriya. Ooh, H hold on, I I I. Uraraka try to assure Izuku but seeing so much blood frees her. Izuku regain enough strength. He grab his pistol and fire at Shigaraki bang. The loud noise of an exploding gunpowder echo the whole mall. Soon everyone is running away in panic. The shot miss and Shigaraki starting to run away. Izuku take aim then fire again bang. Bang, 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 14 shots, 8 seconds, 5 hits. Shigaraki feel to the ground. But before he hit the ground he is engulfed by black mist. The next thing that happened, he is gone. Izuku then drop his pistol and grab his neck, trying to stop the bleeding. No, no, Midoriya. Please, I'm sorry. Your Araka sobbed beside Izuku. It wasn't your fault. Cough, cough, fuck. Izuku replies still coughing blood. I is TT there are anything I I could do. Your Araka asked terrified. H hold, my neck. Izuku reply then your Araka hold his neck trying to stop the bleeding. I don't think my neck decaying anymore. Good. I need Medivaca SAP Izuku though then he grab his phone and dial a ranger corp fast response team dealt. 9 minus 1. Emergency. Medivac. Kiyashi Ward. SAP. Izuku report before he fell to the ground. Midoriya. Uraraka yell terrified. Fuck. This hurt more than I expected. Izuku though painfully as his health bar percentage continued to drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uraraka mutter terrified as she hold Izuku's neck that's still spewing blood. Uraraka. Suddenly someone call her making her to look back and see the entire class running towards them. What happened? There's gunshots. Is there a villain? Everyone ask while running and once they reach the scene they all became silent and freeze in fear. They see Izuku laying down on his back while he and Uraraka is holding his crumbled and bleeding neck. WW what happened? Ida yelled terrified by what he see. What happened to Midoriya? Kirishima yell. Hey, 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 what the hell? Kaminari yell. Is he alright? Takoyami ask. He's dead. Minda yell terrified. And no, he's still alive. He's still. Uraraka reply trembling. Ida approach Izuku and check his neku. Okay, Yeyarazu, we need some cloth and new antiseptic, he requested. But Yeyarazu and all the girls just look at Izuku with terrified expression. Yeyarazu, he need help. Do it, Kirishima yell surprising Yeyarazu. Ooh, oh oh okay. Yeyarazu reply then she began to create some cloth and antiseptic. I'm gonna find some help. Siro, call an ambulance. Kaminari ordered before he run away. Right, Siro replied then he grab his phone and call the emergency services. Hang in there, Madabro. You survived USJ in stain. You'll survive this too. Kirishima yell as he hold Izuku's neck. I lived. Izuku said weakly. Yeah, you'll lived. You will lived. Kirishima yell while crying. They all try to stop the bleeding but unfortunately unsuccessful. The bleeding won't stop Ida said worried. What we supposed to do? Shoji asked worried. Can I tape his neck? Siro asked gaining the attention of others. Tape. Toru asked frightened. He's right. The tape could stop the bleeding. Yeyarazu said trembling. Do. It. Izuku ordered weakly. Okay. Okay. Siro yell then he ripped some tape and tape Izuku's neck. Done. Siro said as he finished taping Izuku's neck. They all look at the wound and luckily it's no longer bleeding. It's not bleeding anymore. Good Ada said relief. But we still need to bring him to the hospital. He already lost to many blood Siro said when suddenly a Quinjet land outside the mall. A jet. Takoyami asked confused. Medivac. Izuku said weakly as the medical team exited the Quinjet and heading to Izuku. What's the situation? A medic ask. He, ooh, he have a massive hole on his neck and bleeding quite badly Kirishima answered trembling. But we managed to stop it by this tape Ida added. Okay, we got it from here. You kids did good the medic claimed then the students began to move away from Izuku except Uraraka. Miss, I need you to move away the medic requested. Iba, he's hurt. Because of me. Uraraka reply sobbing. We will take care of him. He'll be fine the medic explained softly. Go, I'll be fine. Izuku told Uraraka weakly. Hick. Okay. Uraraka reply then she move away to join the others. Uraraka then reach her class and Mina, Toru, and Asui quickly hug her while still crying. Oh my god. Uraraka, I'm sorry Asui said sobbing. You hear the medic. He'll be fine Toru said sobbing. But, he's hurt. 
Uraraka said sobbing. He have survived something like this before Mina said sobbing. And he said it himself that he lived. Don't worry Kaminari added trembling. The medic take care of Izuku then he is put on a stretcher and taken to the Quinjet. Before he is taken to the jet, Izuku make a peace sign to his classmate, indicating that he will be fine. Classa can only watch as Izuku is taken away to the hospital for the many time this past three months. All of them now realize how much dangerous the hero world could be. USJ may be the first time they fought villains. But this, this is the one thing that opened their eyes on how much a hero sacrificed to protect others. I hate to say this Takoyami said gaining the attention of others but once we became pro, this will be norm to us to see he said making Klasa to look down. He's right, either we like it or not. This is the world we will face in the future Eda agree as he glanced his arm. But, this is too soon Toru complain. Then we have to train harder. Kirishima yell angrily surprising the others. What? Siro asked confused. Kirishima, Mina said worried. Midoriya has sacrificed numerous times for our sake. He fought the hardest among us. He never gives up and always fight till the end. Kirishima yell making the class remember USJ and Sports Fest and Hasu where Izuku always fight till the end. We are class of UA. Hero course. And yet we behave nothing like a hero. I know I failed at the final exam. And if that is real life I would be dead. So this time, I declare that I will bust my ass during the summer camp. I will not let Midoriya fight alone anymore. Kirishima declare. I never back down from a fight. That's not who I am here to remember Izuku's word before they both fight in the sports fest Midoriya said that he doesn't want to be a hero. And yet, he is more heroic than any of us he said. Yeah, Uraraka agrees she has now stopped crying. We will not let him down. We will fight with him. Together Kaminari declares smiling making the others smile as well. For Midoriya, Kirishima yell with his hand in the air. For Midoriya, the class cheer pumping their hand up. Time skip 12 hours. Ranger Corp Hospital, Yakasuka, Tokyo, Japan. Izuku open his eyes and see he inside some kind of machine when a female doctor enter the room. Ah, you awake. Are you okay, Captain Midoriya? The doctor ask. Izuku only look at the doctor before he touch his neck and feel nothing is missing or damaged. Your throat are quite damaged and you are losing a lot of blood. Luckily your friends managed to stop the bleeding the doctor explain. Can you speak? The doctor ask. Dr. Helen Cho Izuku said. Good. Your throat are in good condition. And you able to recover quickly Dr. Helen said as she checked the machine's monitor. Can I get up? Izuku asked. Go ahead. Your good shape Dr. Helen reply then Izuku sit up and move his head around. No strain, no pain, no movement restriction. I'm good Izuku check himself. Do you need anything? Dr. Helen asked. No, I'm good. Though I need some space Izuku reply. Okay, I'll be outside if you need me Dr. Helen reply. Thank you. Dr. Izuku said as Dr. Helen exited the room. Izuku just sit in his bed with some deep though son of a bitch. I just make Shigaraki unpredictable. He now have a new focus, not all might, but the whole society. Izuku though worriedly. Izuku get off from the bed then walk to a window he may have a new focus, but I don't think he'll let you a go just yet. If you think about it, you a contribute in this twisted society. I'm sure he'll attack us again, especially in the summer camp. Limited pro heroes, middle of nowhere. It'll be the perfect opportunity to strike us Izuku though as he watch the night sky. Izuku clench his fist I don't care where you are, or what your plan is, Shigaraki. Next time I meet you, I will kill you Izuku declare angrily. With that bye bye.